what surprised me once we started using Track My Machines is the amount of time the machines are actually not turning. Uh, it became quite apparent that it's quite a large amount of the time. Uh, so now what we want to do is utilize that and, and find out why uh, and can we get more spindle time out of the, out of the factory. Uh, my name is Martin Taylor, I work for WKW Precision Engineering in Halifax and I'm the production manager here. WKW produces components for the oil and gas industry predominantly, we do some components for the medical industry uh, and we also do general, general products for local companies. What I, what I think is hard about producing the components that we do is from raw material to machining them to an accurate quality uh, and all the coating processes that we do afterwards. We're aiming to get as much efficiency out of the machines as possible, so we want spindle on time. We, we need to be turning products out of the workshop. We've got a bespoke ERP system, but it doesn't give us the detail of the machines on the shop floor and what's actually happening. It became apparent to me that we need to take action about this because I'm looking around on the shop floor and you can't tell which machine's working or not working. So what we need to do is monitor it real life. And Track My Machines offered us a trial of three monitoring systems for a couple of months which we installed on the shop floor uh, and it made it crystal clear what was happening. Uh, so after the three month trial uh, we then decided to roll it out on every machine on the shop floor. So we can now monitor every machine on the shop floor within the shift pattern, outside of the shift pattern, uptime, downtime, maintenance time, but we know exactly what's happening on the shop floor and this is a record that we can look back on and then decide what we're going to do in the future. Well, we used to just use the manufacturing software uh, and record clock times. So you would see a job, a job guy would clock on the job, a clock off the job, and that's your, that's your run time. But it's not actually giving me a spindle time. It's not actually telling me when, I can, when I'm cutting material. So now with this information, uh, we can decide that we can do other jobs, different jobs, different machines, different locations. We're going to use this information in the future so we can identify bottlenecks on the shop floor, find out where we need to improve, where we need to invest, uh, processes we need to, to make a lot better and a lot more efficient.